Welcome back, one and all, to One Way Bay, where I'm looking at our new stadium. Yes. And I just need to say that the naming rights for this stadium are actually up for sale, so let me know in the comments what we should name our stadium. Should we name it the General Store Stadium, since it's right next to the line of general stores, <laughs> like half a block away? Um, I, I could go for that, but if you guys have anything interesting, let me know in the comments below, and we'll we'll pick something something good out. Um, but yeah, in between episodes here, I did do a little bit of work around the stadium here. As you can kind of see, I connected a couple paths up. This one over here to the other side of the street, just to get some people from Pleasure Town to walk over. And then the one kind of went behind here. I put a parking garage up. The rest of this parking was here already, so... It honestly worked out to be a pretty good spot for the stadium because it's got a lot of parking and a lot of access to things. But So we got a little bit of a path here. It goes over the highway, goes down under the highway, goes back up over the highway, and connects to this park over here, which a ton of people are actually visiting, or passing through at least. I want, does visiting like count? Like all of those people who just walked right there, do they count as visitors, or is it only the people who, like, actually go to the park to sit down? I think it's actually only the people who go to the park. So, I don't know. That's a little weird. Because there are surely more than ten people in this park right now, let alone the past week. But, um, yeah, so, actually, this walkway is really populated. There are tons of people walking over this. Wow. Anyway, back to this... Um, path over here. It, it kind of wraps under the bridge and comes back around here to this parking lot here. So I like how it kind of connected this into the the stadium little district we got going on down here. And then I, I did a little bit of tree work along the highway. Nothing too fancy. Uh, the one thing that I wanted to kind of do real fast was to actually upgrade these highways to highways with walls. I just, I think since it's right downtown into our nice downtown district, the walls will just make it look a little better. And it should actually help with the noise pollution. So, hopefully some of the properties around it will be able to upgrade as well. Um, what are we doing in this episode? Holy cow, look at all those people. Just merging onto the highway. Stopped halfway on the highway. Up. Oh, that was a collision. That was nearly a collision with motorbikes. I mean, come on, guys. You gotta slow down for those. Those are very dangerous. More because of cars, not because of the motorcycle. Um, <clears throat> anyway, what are we doing in this episode? Honestly, I don't know. There's a couple little things that I wanted to do. Uh, but I think I, this may end up being a shorter episode if we run out of stuff. Farmville is going to need some attention, and I think we should start that in this episode. But before I go over there... This over here, I think we should look at uh, getting one more off-ramp right here and then bringing it into this weird intersection over here. I think this is going to be a good idea just because, wow, I actually missed a lot of spaces here. Huh. It was probably because of a uh, uh, the power line situation at one point is probably what happened there. But it doesn't matter now, because now it is gone. Um, but, actually, no, not not gone. Eh, eh. I'll, I'll come back and zone that real fast in a minute. But for now, I am going to go ahead and set up some of these uh, roads over the highway here, just to get an off-ramp up to them. I gotta flip those around, of course. Pull it back down, and then we'll take an off-ramp. Why is there property? Oh, shit. <laughs> that was weird. I accidentally clicked, and I didn't mean to, so there's that. All right. Can I, should I bring it up to that, or should I just bring it all the way over to here? That's a good question. That's a very good question. I'm thinking we go up and go into here, just because it's going to look a little better. And then this one will come right up and right over here, of course. And actually, that looks a little steep, but I think it fits for now. 
And then, yeah, they can go into here and out there. And then, of course, I have to put this back, because I said I would. And that's that. So now people have yet another option. I'm just trying to alleviate all of this traffic down here, man. It is... There's a ton of people just sitting right here. And I don't want them to back this whole thing up. Although, they, they have done it. So I'm trying to get people to use this more. So if they have to go over here, or whatever, they'll go hopefully off this instead of over here, and then riding all the way around. It seems that most of this issue is from people turning left here, and then, oh my god. They're, oh my, they're turning left, and then I guess they're going straight. Because, huh. I, ooh, I could, ooh, I don't know if that's a good idea. I could flip this around so they have to come out here, and then I could pull them in over here, but does that make any sense whatsoever? It'll just jam up people back here more. That might make some sense, and actually I think if I flip this around, it's going to make a lot more sense as well. And then, I don't know, people who have to get back down here will just have to go up around somewhere over oh my god this is a mess this whole thing is a mess maybe we should have one more cut over road over here that might be a good idea might be wow i don't know man this could have been done a lot better of course i didn't really plan this out actually you know what might help is to have a street that cuts over but doesn't cut into another intersection so they could basically just go whoop and come around without having to really stop. Although I think it would create a traffic light, which I would then have to get a mod to take out. Um, I don't know. Is this helping at all over here? A little bit. Are people using this off ramp? Kind of, yeah. Uh, oh, there's a few people. Okay. So hopefully it helps. We'll come back and look at it later. There's been up and down times where this doesn't look as populated as it is, but uh, right now, I don't know, it backs up like this, and then it comes to this point where people are like, ah, shit, and they come over here, and then all of a sudden, everything goes to hell for everybody, but I don't know, and actually, I'm going to turn off the um, day-night cycle because we're building. We're not admiring at this point. Speaking of admiring, as I replace some of these with high density. Um, yeah, speaking of admiring, someone had asked me to do a first-person tour of One Way Bay, which I think is a great idea. We should really start doing that. Or, not start. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do that eventually. I'm not sure when, but I'm probably gonna do it. It probably won't be like a, uh, an episode per se, but... I'll do maybe like a random video on an off day or whatever and do a little little tour and maybe do some fun with it. I'm not sure yet, but yeah, that'll definitely be coming up. So stay tuned for that guys. Um, I don't know what else to say. I don't think there was anything really significant in the comments from the last few episodes, but uh, let's move on, I guess, over to Farmville. And I noticed that over here we have some worker issues. So I'm thinking if we put some more housing over here, kind of on this the edge of this cliff, um, we can maybe have some pathways for people to come to work over here. We'll just connect it. We'll, we'll have to shoot a pathway through here and weave it around and somehow find a way to get it over to here. But I think that'll that'll fare very well. And actually, we'll just put it. We'll just make a bike path. So actually, should we go about do, doing that right now? Probably. All right. Let's just. There we go. All right. It's got to go under here, but over this train path and up here, and then just make it nice and slope back down to the normal ground here. Boom, look at that, that looks sweet. Eh, I don't know, that looks cool, sure. Maybe I get a little overexcited for things like that, but whatever. Um, what should we do? 
I'm thinking of maybe upgrading all these roads to something nicer. Like something with grass. Because it's Farmville, of course they're going to have people who know how to take care of grass. And I don't know why this is actually deleting people's homes, but... Well, that kind of sucked. Oh well. <laughs> anyway. Uh, oh, plus I wanted to get a train station up here. Hmm. How should I go about doing that? Hmm, 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 hmm. Should I put that in, like, a town square, like, over here? Probably. And, of course, none of the actual ground is level, of course. So I think the train station's gonna have to sit, like, this way. So I'm going to have to do something like this. Put a train station right here. And then run train lines through here, which shouldn't be that big of an issue because there's really not that much traffic flowing through here. So I think with the train crossings, it'll be fine. But oh man, look at all of those people who now love it. And of course, the terrain is all sorts of whacked. Whacked out terrain. And alright. Just kind of run it down through here. And actually... If I go this way, it'll have to cross two uh, roads, but if I turn it, does that connect up? Probably, right? Yeah. If I turn it like this, it'll only have to cross one. And then I want to get it out of the way of these here farm plots. These here farmers plots. <laughs> and uh, take it this way and someone had said if you turn off snapping it'll stop snapping but it's not going to stop snapping to there unfortunately so uh someone else said you could snap it to the road like beside the road and oh wow that actually works very well uh i don't know if i'm going to do that for this right now because it's not that necessary but okay we have a lot of unnecessary train lines going through here right now like this could be condensed into one but I just like having it separated for whatever reason over here and the question on my mind right now is actually should we go ahead and run a train line from Farmville directly to the college and part of me says that's probably a good idea but the other part of me says why would I do that people in Farmville are probably not going to college, right? Because of the policy that we have set. School's out. It says they will prefer working over education. So technically, they're not just going to be working. They're preferring to work. So not everybody, like 100% of people, aren't going to be dropping out and going to um, work right away. But most will so I guess some will still go to college but for those some they will probably find their way without having a direct train route so that's that and actually do we even need this crossroad right here probably not I want to say no um, and then this just <laughs> weasels its way through here doesn't really interfere with too much of the property out there, so that's that's a good thing. And then I will continue this over here. And actually, I kind of want to flip this around. Because if I put housing over here, a majority of people are going to be coming from this way and not this way into the train station. So, and while I'm on the subject of housing, let's just put some grass out here. I'll keep that as the sidewalk, whatever. And then we'll cut, like, one road straight out to here, which we will then funnel back to here. Okay, there we go. So that way, people from over here can easily get back into the train station or walk. We'll probably put a train path or <laughs> a train path. Yeah, we'll put a train path down so the trains can walk to their destination, of course. And... <laughs> Uh, that was probably the best slip-up I've had. That was hilarious. But no, we'll put a, a pedestrian path down so people can then go where they need to 
And we'll just do a little bit of terraforming here to make this not such a cliff. And the farms actually terraform with it, which is nice. So there we go. And then I think we just got to go a little up on some of this and down on other parts. But again, terraforming, the best thing to watch on YouTube. You know it. I don't know. It's not going to get perfect, and I don't want to spend time doing it right now. I can do that when I have some free time. So, all right. The thing about this area over here is... Um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, look at how the roads are kind of warping through the mountainside. We're probably going to need to deal with that a little bit at some point. And then some of these housing units are not going to have very good property value because they are right next to the train line, which is always something you want to see. But <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a home. But, uh... Okay, this is going to be cool, actually, down here. There is an imminent danger approaching the citizens that live down here in this little district in the badlands of Farmville because there is always a major threat for flooding down by... And not just flooding, but poo flooding, you know? There's just going to be poop floating around everywhere. But, uh, you know what? If you want a really cool house far away from civilization I mean don't mind this whole highway juncture but I mean looking that way is beautiful looking this way is just like uh industry it probably smells because it's downwind anyway right uh <laughs> I don't know either way this is kind of what I'm thinking here um and then yeah I don't think I'm gonna do too many more roads down that way and then just kind of funnel people this way because I don't think they need to go like this way from over here because if they caught in here they don't need to get like cycle back through what are they gonna go back home and turn around and then over here would actually be a really good spot for some commercial because we do have a bit of demand for it at this point which is kind of cool because I don't think I've put down commercial in a long while but That'll be that, and then the rest of this will pretty much be housing, and then the rest of this in here is going to be uh, some industry, and we'll lay some of that down now because we do have a little bit of demand for it, so there's that. Uh, does the electricity connect? Yes, it does, which is great. Great for us. Great for Farmville. <laughs> and, uh, all right. Where, how are we doing on time here? We're, we're running a little longer, but... Honestly, we've gotten a lot more done in this episode than I had planned, so at least that's good. Um, yeah, Farmville's getting a little bit of a makeover. We're adding some more homes, which will definitely help the working situation over here in Industry Hill, I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. But, of course, I have to connect that bike path up first before any of that can even begin to help. So, boom. And then... I guess we'll run a bike path from, like, here up to... I didn't really want that to be a bridge, but unfortunately, there are spots that are going to need the bridge. So, can I connect right into there? I guess that connected. Doesn't look very good, but it did connect. Let's fix that up real fast. Let's put snapping back on. So, that's a little unfortunate, but there we go. So that's that. Now people can bike their way to work, hopefully in Industry Hill. And they can now take the train, which I will... Why does the train have a... <laughs> the station has a burglary issue. Alright, which way can it go? It can go into this one, right? Yes. Add stop there, and then add a stop back here. Boom! And we'll get a line up there. Perfect! That's a great place to end this episode. I think we did quite a lot in quite a short bit of time. Of course, it didn't really seem like we did a lot, but we've got a lot planned out for the future here. Um, Farmville's looking a lot better, and then hopefully some of these worker issue issues will get taken out because we'll have more residents over here. And uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'll probably fill some of this out so you guys don't have to watch me do that. 
But yeah, up to you to name this stadium. And guys, until next time, stay tuned and I will see you back here in One Way Bay.